A stock out or out of stock event happens when the inventory is exhausted. The stock outs can happen at any stage in the supply chain, but the most visible ones are the ones at the store level, also referred to as on shelf availability issues. Stock outs are usually treated as problems to be fixed, and many inventory methods, such as safety stocks, have been devised to control the frequency associated with those events. Stockouts are the opposite of overstocks, where too much inventory is retained. When stocks are expected to be present, a stockout usually introduces a detrimental disruptions of some kind in the supply chain. However, the degree of impact varies greatly from one situation to another. In a fashion retail store, if a product is missing, given that multiple alternatives remain available, and assuming that the alternatives have the proper sizes available, a certain fraction of customers may still take another product as a substitute. In aviation maintenance, if a no-go part is missing, it can cause an aircraft on ground incident, which delays the maintenance operations and disrupts the airline's entire flight schedule, causing a cascade of delays for the passengers an extremely costly scenario for the airline. In the pharmaceutical industry, the stockout of a drug treating life-threatening conditions that do not have known alternative treatments can lead to the loss of lives and also in the loss of trust from healthcare institutions who might be less inclined to rely on this drug in the future. The financial impact of a stockout is typically twofold. First, the immediate opportunity loss associated with fewer transactions but the second one, the delayed market response as a form of aversion for unreliable providers. In most situations, the later impact is dwarfing the former. However, quantifying the financial impact associated with intangible phenomenons like loss of trust is difficult. While stockouts are usually considered undesirable, they can be nevertheless an essential mechanism for supply chains in order to achieve the desirable final state of the inventory, which minimizes waste. For example, when dealing with fresh food, ideally the inventory should be exactly exhausted at the very end of the day as goods are highly perishable and will be wasted unless consumed on time. Fashion brands are driven by novelty, which implies that the product from the former collections must be liquidated at the end of the season in order to make space for the products from the new collection. There are numerous traditional practices for avoiding a stockout, such as increasing stock levels, reducing lead times, improving forecasting, and increasing price to dampen the demand. Articulating this end of life of a product whilst aiming for a controlled journey to stockout is indeed a very difficult task. Modern approaches, however, focus on supply chain decisions and their economic outcomes. The difference might seem small, but in practice, decisions optimized against economic drivers end up vastly superior because they are more closely aligned with the nuances of the quality of service as perceived by the customer.